A gunman is on the run tonight after a shot was fired at a police officer in Melbourne's east. It comes as new research reveals an increase in violent behaviour towards emergency responders. Amber Johnston reports. Searching for clues to a suburban shooting targeting one of their own. An officer uses a metal detector to comb through a median strip in Mulgrave, trying to find the bullet fired at a senior constable who was just doing his job. He had to go home and tell his wife and children he'd been shot at. The dog squad member was attending to other duties around four this morning when a car sped up behind on Wellington Road and tried to ram his vehicle. That's when they pulled up alongside and fired a single shot, narrowly missing the 35-year-old. It's just a blatant disregard for the law. It comes as the Crime Statistics Agency reported a spike in assaults on emergency workers in a number of suburbs across Victoria. Melbourne's southeast emerging as as a hot spot. Their loved ones hope that they'll come home. Sadly, for 175 Victorian police officers, they haven't. The CBD had the highest number of assaults with 164 attacks in the past year. Frankston was next with 84, followed by Dandenong, Geelong, Morwell and Bendigo, the most dangerous regional cities. Police are already getting burnt out and the ones that I've spoken to, they're under so much pressure, increased pressure, for the work they have to perform in an unsafe environment. The opposition says incidents such as this morning's attack are deterring people from joining the force, with currently more than 800 vacancies at Victoria Police. Our heroes in blue who too often become the victims themselves.